your future success in business is based on whatever you're actively measuring. You may have heard what gets measured gets improved. Well, the easiest way to measure and continually get closer to your goals is by creating a weekly scorecard. If you try this, you'll see tangible benefits at the end of this week. You've heard how goals are good, but it's really the process or the systems. That's where the magic happens. You know, this was brought to light or at least made uh, very popular by James Clear book, Atomic Habits. This is because if we have an outcome goal, like get five new clients this quarter, well, we don't really have control over that goal. But what we do have control over is the actions that lead to those intro calls. So if we said something like, let's pretend content marketing is the way that we're attracting new people. So the input or the system or the process goals are write two social media posts per week about my ideal client's biggest pain points or problems. That's a process goal that we've got more control over that can lead to more interest and then to more intro calls. Or it could be perform the no ask referral system for an existing client each week. The best part about this is that you never have to wonder if you're spending time on the right activities. It's, it also just gamifies success. I've been doing this the last four years or, or more and it's really, it, the, the tangible benefits are, are clear. So let me show you an example of a weekly scorecard. And remember, yours is gonna look different than this. And you'll have to determine what are the best inputs here to go along the left side. What, what are the things each week that you really should be measuring? And these are the, uh, the top are the lead measures, which are what are the actual inputs that then deliver the lag measures, which are the KPIs. Now these aren't exactly um, are connected. I've actually got different lead measures than this. Many of mine are around marketing and attracting new clients and training the advisors that we have. So start testing these inputs and start measuring them and see what, uh, what gets accomplished or what doesn't. And imagine the big thing that I did that really helped with this was I imagine like each one of these inputs was a seed. So take the two uh, YouTube, let's see, two YouTube videos scheduled per week. When I started our advisor YouTube channel in 2020, the seed I planted was just post one video a week. And the following week, there was no harvest. So I, I'm thinking of this as that law of sowing and reaping, right? Planted a seed, no harvest the next week. The next month, there was no harvest. The next 10 months, there was no harvest. But the thing that kept me going was just that, that law of, of sowing and reaping. I don't control the harvest. I don't control the outcome, but I do control when I sow or I plant or the input that I give. And I do control what I try and what I test and how I could get better at that input. So for 10 months, the results was nothing. We went from zero subscribers to a grand whopping 70 subscribers. That's about a one subscriber every two weeks, which sounds pretty bad and it is, but I just focused on the planting of the seed and then improving that skill of input. And then in month 11, we started to see the harvest. And now we almost have close to 40,000 subscribers on the Streamline channel and it's our number one lead generator by far. So take a minute right now, you could even pause the video, write down the things that bring the greatest benefit to your clients and to your business. No more than five, and then at the end of the week, start tracking them. How did you do? And remember, work either works for you and it delivers these hoped for results and outcomes, or it works on you and it turns you into the person who's gonna get those results eventually because you're learning what works and you're learning what doesn't work. If this was helpful, let me know by clicking the like button and then sharing it with more advisors. And then look for this video that's going to help you figure out what are the inputs that are going to have the greatest result in your business. It's actually an exercise to run through that's really, really valuable. At least it has been for us. And then if you share this with another advisor friend, think about making them your accountability partner. Ask them in a week if they did their scorecard for Q1. And then be ready for next week because I'm going to be posting a video that's only going to be up for 24 hours. So you want to hit the bell icon to get notified from YouTube. I'll actually be doing these uh, 24 hour uh, videos periodically because there are some things that we're doing in our advisory practice that may involve a, a scenario or a, a client example. Now I'm not using real names or things, but I'm just not comfortable keeping them up on, on YouTube forever. So look for that next week. I'll see you there.